Then I bring to my work fantastic idea of a past that was concerning the humanity uh, during the time of the war, where I was young, and I was uh, listening to the radio, the, the voice of, of Churchill, and Churchill was for us the hope. And uh, being there and showing my work in the Churchill place, in the Churchill house, uh, in, in, in time of peace and, and presenting art for peace, this is, I think, the best goal for me. My philosophy is to bring the viewer inside of the work of art. And the viewers that come to visit the palace, they become part of the artwork. They don't just look, but they act inside of my work in the palace, so they, they become uh, actors in the palace. What I try with my art is to give the vision of a possible change and the possible perspective for the humanity, uh, putting together the politics and the economy, art and social life in all the aspects. Uh, the castle is representing the history. Through the third paradise, I speak about future, and through the mirror paintings, I reflect history and future. The Brennan Palace, it was the opportunity of creating an, a new energy between uh, the art of the past and art of the present with the conception of an art for the future. And, but in the art of the future, there will not be only the artist, but also the society. The, the society that will participate in the creation of a new world. So the creation is not just the creation of the artist, but it's a creation that artists make with the society. There is, there is always a change in my art. Nothing is static forever. Everything is there for one minute, uh, but only for one minute. If you move away, you have another vision. You have another possibility, another condition. You can, with art, change your vision, but also changing the reality. If you want, if you want to change the politics, if you want to change the religion, you have to start with art. Uh, nothing will happen without the movement of the art before all. The history, the history is always changing, of course, uh, because the chance is there always. But we have to use the chance and make a transformation with a consciousness of a new world, the world that it will be the best for everybody. This is what I think is possible to do with art. Art, it can influence the politics, can influence the economy, can influence the thought of humanity. It can also have a very important spiritual meaning because the spirituality of the art is so dynamic and so open and so vast. It can give uh, uh, freedom to everybody and responsibility at the same time. And it is what we need in the world.